In part one of this lesson, we learned how to test an Android application on a physical device. In this part, we're going to take a look at how to install the emulator so you can test Android applications without having an actual Android device. What you need to do is install the Android SDK. So you can come to this site right here and it download whichever SDK is uh, appropriate for your platform. So I've already installed, or I've already downloaded the Windows SDK, so I'm just going to go to my downloads here and run the installer. I'm not going to be doing any customized settings with this. Uh, I'm simply going to kind of next, next, next my way through it. You'll notice the second screen here says I need to actually have the Java developer kit, the JDK, installed. That's not found. Don't worry, this isn't too bad. I'm just going to hit this button right here to visit sun.com. And I'm going to click and install the JDK for my appropriate computer. So I'm going to choose Windows, I'm going to Agree, and I'm going to hit Continue to download this. Now I've already downloaded this. I want to take you through the installer for the JDK. Again, nothing fancy. I'm going to hit Next, I'm going to hit Next. It's going to install all the components, um, and then I'll be good to go. Once you've finished installing that Java SDK or JDK, uh, if I actually just hit the back button in my Android setup wizard and then hit next, you'll see it now recognizes it and I can go through the installation for the Android SDK. And again, I'm not doing anything fancy, just next, 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 all the way through it. Once it's complete, you can hit finish, it'll start up. It's also putting a shortcut on your desktop but it'll be, of course be listed in your programs menu as well. Now as soon as it starts up, it's going to actually prompt you to update every possible thing that you can. I'm going to just hit cancel here. What I need is a device to test on. So I'm going to go to the available packages here. I'm going to span Android and I'm going to download the SDK for Android 2.2. 2.2 is the first version that supported Android and Air. So anything beyond that is fine. But I'm going to install that SDK. I'm going to accept all, install that. This is just downloading all of uh, the, the operating system information and everything from Android. Once it's finished installing, it's telling me that I have to restart uh, the uh, Android developer tool here. So I'm just going to hit yes. I'm going to let it restart. Close this when it's done. So the last piece is I, I, I need a virtual device to test on. So I'm going to come to the virtual devices. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call this device my Evo because, again, that's the phone that I have. Uh, except I don't think I can use spaces. Target, you'll notice Android 2.2 is the only operating system I downloaded, so I'm going to target that. Um, you know, the SD card size, I don't really care about any of that stuff. Resolution, I'm, you could set it to be exactly what you want. Not going to really worry about that. I'm just going to come to the bottom here and hit Create AVD. Uh, it will create it. I hit OK. What I can do is I can select this now and start it. This is going to actually literally launch the emulator for this device. This takes a good solid five minutes the first time it starts up. So uh, I will pause the recording and see you in a little bit. So this is the emulator running. You'll see all the buttons you can act with the keyboard, menu buttons, home buttons, all the stuff that is on the Android platform. But I need to test my device on here. So I'm going to switch back to Flash real quick. I'm going to go to my Air for Android settings because I want to test in the emulator. I'm going to change that option. I'm going to hit Publish. I'm going to switch back to the emulator and then I'm going to wait patiently for the application to get pushed to the emulator. Now it takes a good solid minute to push the application to the emulator which is why again I highly recommend you test with a with a device. You'll notice I'm being prompted to install Air and this is what every single Android user will see if they don't have Air before installing your application. Clicking the install button however doesn't do anything in the emulator because we can't actually install Air through the emulator. So if you want to actually test in the emulator, there's one more step. So we need to install Air on this emulator. Now again, 
get a device, test on that. It's a lot faster. The performance is better. The emulator is really clunky, but uh, and, and this kind of process, too, isn't real friendly. But if you need the test on the emulator, go ahead. Uh, you have to install Air this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down into my Flash CS5 install folder, find an AIK 2.5 bin, because in here there's this little bat file, this little executable that I'm that I need to actually work with. So I'm going to hold down Shift, right click, so that I can get a little option to open a command window here. Uh, ultimately, that's just changing directories all the way down to that location. So if you're on a Mac, open up terminal, browse to this directory. I'm going to say ADT hyphen install app platform Android hyphen platform SDK and what I'm going to actually do is point at if you go to your flash CS5 directory you go to your Android directory I'm actually going to point at this directory right here so I'm going to copy my path to that I'm going to put a quote paste it here closing quote because I've got some spaces in there and then lastly I need to indicate what I want to install so I'm going to say package and then I'm going to go back to my file browser. I'm going to go into that AIK 2.5 folder again. Runtimes, Air, Android, Emulator, and actually point at this runtime file, which is the, which is the actual Air app. So I'm going to copy the URL, put a quote, paste it in there, and add in runtime.apk, closing quote, hit return. Uh, it's now going to think a little bit and ultimately install Air on that emulator. So at this point, you have the ability to test directly from Flash into the Android emulator. Again, it's a, kind of a long, lengthy process. If you're not familiar with Android, your applications are all located in this little button down at the bottom, and you can see there's Quick Access uh, and any other apps that you would install. They're actually physical applications on the Android device. Um, but again, the emulator, not really the best process here. Hopefully this helps you get started getting uh, into mobile application development.